All right, so today I just wanted to run you guys through what my uh, weekly routine is as far as water changes, what I clean, uh, how easy it is to maintain this fluval. I'm really impressed with the ease, you know, given the size and the way it's set up, how easy it is to maintain. Uh, basically, I'm going to be taking out these filters up here, scrubbing the glass, checking things over. I run, I run over it all with you. I may even be putting in a protein skimmer today. Uh, I haven't added one yet, and I have one. I'm just waiting to put it in, but I think we might do that on this video. I also have links below this video, uh, different uh, links for uh, products that I'm interested in or that I, I that I already own or may use for the channel. Uh, definitely, uh, there is one down there. I'm looking at a a glass aqua. I want you guys to check that one out. Uh, tell me if there's a tank in there that you think would look good. I'm thinking about doing a planted tank and adding that to the channel as well. I do have quite a few people that are interested in betas and mollies and that type of thing and they want it on a freshwater uh, setup rather than in a salt water. Uh, so I'm thinking about maybe adding that to the channel. Take a look at the glass aqua link. Uh, tell me what you think. It's down below. All right, so one of the first things I got to do here, uh, well, I can actually just pop this off. This is actually all I would need to take out right here as far as doing the, the filter changes. Uh, but I'm actually going to be taking this whole lid off because I'm going to be taking water out as well. Basically, I'm just going to take this, tip it up, leave the light right on so I have... Then I'm going to just siphon out the normal, you know, I, I do about five gallons roughly every week. Change it, put some fresh water in, nothing major. It's not that big of a tank. It doesn't actually require too large of a water change. I like to go in here, I have one coral that kind of tipped a little bit here. Get him straightened out. Basically just going to siphon down about five gallons of water at this point. Uh, while that's happening, I'm actually going to pull these out. I'm going to drop them right in this bucket because I'm going to be rinsing them off. Right in that bucket. tell if you look you can see some of the stuff that's built up on them and you can see how some of the debris has started to come out into the tank right now though the bucket I have here it's going to be the basically I have the filters in there Let me get this hose out of here Try to get it so you can see a little better. Alright, so basically all I'm going to do here with these is I'm going to keep them right in the salt water. That way I don't have to worry about contamination from, you know, I don't want to rinse them off in the sink and then get something I don't want in there and I don't want to waste more. RO water than I have to. So I'm going to rinse everything off right here in the actual water that I and I'm doing the tank change with. Just these filters, as long as you clean them weekly like this, they're real easy to take care of. If you wait too long and they get all gummed up, then you would need to really spray them off with something. This is the media that's been in them on the tank here since I set it up.
as you can see here, basically, for the most part, all the big chunks, what have you, are gone. Just gonna wring most of that water out. Grab that media pack back, stuff it back in the hole here. This one is the charcoal. This one, the charcoal here, I do replace it every once in a while, but it's, this is still, this is only a week old, so I'm not gonna re be replacing that at this time. All right, so there's that. I'll set that one there. This one here, you can see the same. The ease of this filter system makes this tank really nice. I know they, they do make some filter sleeves that I've been looking into uh, that will allow me to put more media in for you know even better filtration and water quality. Uh, for right now though, I think I'm, just for the time being, I'm gonna be sticking with this just to see how good this is, you know, over the period of time here. It's kind of a test, you know. Obviously, if you put more in, it's gonna be better, but All right, and then this water here will just be uh, dumped in the garbage. You can see here, if you look in the pail, you can see where it's all really got a bunch of gunk in it here. That's all going to be thrown in the garbage, and there'll be fresh water put in there. I'll be mixing a whole new bucket. I'll be taking a little bit more water out here. I just wanted to get it to the get the rinsing done on this. I decided to put the lid back on to show you the nice little holes they have here basically that that this filter media that we just cleaned fits right into just basically slide it right in there take it a little slow here because there's water in the tank we don't want it to be pushing water back out I like to push it all the way down so you can see the water there and if you look over here, we got the exact duplicate. With the exact duplicate of the filter media. Put that one in there. Same thing, it's down all the way you can tell it's in the bottom. In this spot right here, in here, that's where that main pump is that runs the tank. I'm gonna make sure that's slid over, not touch anything so that it doesn't vibrate. The heater for it right here, I'm gonna slide that over as well. Because I'm going to be fitting that protein skimmer right in this hole. That's what that hole is designed for. So that's where it'll be going. I also wanted to mention that if you've seen the earlier videos, you'd see I have a, a barrel downstairs, downstairs in my house full of water already mixed to the exact uh, salinity that I wanted at. Uh, and it's got a heater in it and a pump running to keep it stirred up. Uh, so that water is basically ready to go. So once I take that old water out, dump it out, I just simply go grab other water right out of the system. I usually check it just to make sure. But I'll pull it. I'll pull it up here. And then I'll just simply top it off. I don't go all the way to the top. I usually go down a little bit here. But then that's all there's to the water. Uh, that part of it's done. I'm going to be turning the pump back on here, let it circulate for a little bit here, and then I'm going to be moving on to the protein skimmer. Before I go on to the protein skimmer, actually, I did want to also uh, show, as every time I do this, I will take and uh, make sure and wipe all the loose algae off on the glass. 
we got a little water on here. I don't want to get that under my thing. So they basically, this is a magnifying glass and an algae scraper. It's a combination. I'm going to have to clean the glass here when I'm done, but I'll go over the whole tank real thorough. And then I also have this this littler one that I use for getting oops, no, you don't really want to put it in the sand fortunately I didn't get any sand underneath there but uh, for getting down close and in the edges before I open it up I was just going to give you a quick shot this is the skimmer that I'm going to be putting in the tank it's made to fit right in the back I did also want to show you this before I do it. Uh, so this basically is all you would really need to take off when you're changing them filters. If you're not doing the water, you're just doing the filters. You could actually probably pull water out of here as well. But it basically just pops right in there like that. This piece right here is a piece that I'm going to have to knock out where I'm going to be putting that protein skimmer in. So we'll do that here next. I'm going to be also cleaning the glass. Basically, straightforward there. I'm just going to spray it off with some aquarium safe uh, glass cleaner, wipe it off. It's good to go. All right, before we get into the protein skimmer, I did clean the glass here. As you can see, how much clearer the glass is. Uh, you can still see the debris floating around in the tank. That's from the, everything I stirred up. That will actually calm down here in an hour or two. You can see the corals are still out. It didn't even really... It didn't honestly even seem to phase them too much. The big Molly's a little bit hidden, but uh, other than that, I'd say it's all pretty good. I just wanted to add that this is my typical weekly routine. Uh, once this all has had a chance to mix for a little while here and calm down I will go through my series of water tests for you know calcium phosphates alkalinity uh, basically the whole test kit just to make sure everything is in good shape I just wanted to add that in there because I do that at the end of, after it's set and the water's moved for a while and everything's stirred up again okay so I decided to go with the fluval C uh, protein skimmer. I, on this tank, I guess I should have had the PS1. I did order the PS2 here by accident. I realize it's a little undersized. Uh, it does say that it's good for up to 20 US gallons. The tank is actually 32.5 gallons. I'm going to install it on the tank anyways. Uh, every little bit doesn't hurt. I would probably get the, the recommended size one here eventually. Uh, I bought this one a while ago. Unfortunately, I'm unable to return it. Uh, so we might as well throw it on there and see how it works. Uh, basically, just pop it out of the box here. Uh, looks like we have the collection cup. Pretty standard. Some different mounting hardware that we're probably not going to need because it does mount right into the fluval tank. It's got a bunch of hardware that comes with it if you are wanting to install one of these on a different tank uh, it's not going to be necessary on this one because it actually will fit right in As a matter of fact this one comes it comes with these suction cups attached for my purpose I won't be needing them so I'll be just taking them off maybe 
sure what. Wow. Looks like that one is really. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Okay, I was trying to push it the wrong way. So, uh, looks like we will have these here that just kind of hold it together. The ones without the suction cups. Now that we know that goes from the bottom, it's going to be much easier. The top here, uh, we're going to have that one. Let's get a Doing it the wrong way. There we go. So see now that will actually slide right in there. It'll automatically stop at the right height. Uh, the collection cup. Let me pull this up here so we can see it. So the collection cup, when I put that on in the tank, it's going to simply sit on here. But I'm going to install this in the tank. Uh, you know, I, I mean, that was really quick how I went over that there. Uh, there's not really much to it, though, because it comes, you know, installed. This adjusts your water level. That's what creates the bubbles up to, you know, up to this point. This will actually get put in here. This is your return air. You want that open all the way it's got a little screw deal you want to just screw it so that it's not off but just basically one turn on because you want it open as far as it can go that's maybe a little bit better picture but I will be sliding this in the back of the tank here and we'll show you at that point I do want to throw this in here as well. This is the actual part of the lid uh, that's designed on the Fluval Flex 32.5 gallon tank. As you can see, the cutout here is obviously a little bit bigger. Uh, it is designed for the PS1 protein skimmer. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I will be ordering that. I just wanted to throw this on here, being as I already bought it. Uh, unable to return it at the due to the time frame that I bought it so I might as well just see how it works on here and we'll go from there I'll maybe do a video when I get the correct size one uh, but I'm going to basically be just cutting this out there's little punch outs here just grab it a little knife and cut them out and then I'll put this back on and we'll slide this in the back of the tank and I'll give you a, I'll show you where that fits in there so I did pop this out that's what it looks like when the when the punch out is missing. Okay, so as it turns out, I took this over to the tank, was going to start the video. Uh, being it is a smaller one, it obviously doesn't fit in there like it's supposed to. Uh, so in this particular case, we are actually going to need the suction cup ones if we're going to be using it. Like I said, I have it. I want to hook it up just to see how it works. I'll probably be getting the correct one, uh, but this way, just so you know for the video that I'm not going to be, I'm going to be using the suction cups because I'm going to need the suction cups to keep it into place. And now that I know how to take them on and off, that was a much easier process. All right, so all that's going to be to this here, like I said, it's not even the correct one. I just want to put it on there and run it just to check it out. Uh, <clears throat> Strap the cord back here. We're going to be putting this down in here. Maybe. This is actually a pretty tight fit when you when you have the brackets on. I want to see make sure where this fits. Okay, so I do want to show you, uh, this is kind of an epic fail here. I thought I could put it in here, but uh, this one, with it being the wrong one, uh, it actually is does not even fit. Uh, once you force it in there and you have it in place, uh, then you can't put this on. Uh, because the collection cup, if I have it... You know, see the collection cup, once you get it down into the right level, it won't, uh, 
So this is kind of what you call an epic fail. Uh, not only did I order the wrong part, uh, but I couldn't even make the wrong part work. Uh, so I guess we'll just like, clean up this here. Um, maybe it'll be one of the things I give away in my first giveaway. And I'll be ordering the correct one soon. All right, I just wanted to let you know here at the end. Obviously, I'm an idiot. I ordered the wrong one on the for the protein skimmer. I should have the PS1. Uh, I will be getting that here uh, soon, and then I'll be doing a video here demonstrating that to you uh, and how that actually works. I do need the protein skimmer coming up here. I did actually put in some uh, coralline algae and Hibbert in in there right now, so I wasn't going to be running the protein skimmer anyways. I, I just wanted to put this into the video to show that I have it and that it's on the tank. Uh, as, as always, you know, if you have any comments on this, you know, go ahead. Uh, anything is, uh, I'd be interested and in see what you, your, your thoughts are. If there's anything you want me to cover on this tank, any questions in regards to it, uh, please let me know. As always, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, you know, check out the links below the channel. Uh, if there's any links you like down there, uh, you know, definitely if you go through them, it does help the channel. It does help support the channel. Uh, please, uh, you know, I thank you for your support. Thank you.